oh my god, what if... Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is crazy, actually. Wait, wait, wait. All right, so I've been listening to a lot of things. It just clicked for me on the podcast right now uh, with that example. I was listening to Tom DeLong talk about, like, it goes beyond UAPs. Like, we're thinking about, like, UFOs and, like, whatever, and like, but it's a battle of consciousness. And I'm like, all right, you are privy to some information that I'm not privy to, so I'm going to listen to you. And now that you've proven that you are in the field of, like, people who know, there must be something to your words, right? But mm-hmm. he can't, like, directly say it. So what he's like is like we're all thinking about it like aliens from Zeta Reticuli, right? They're from this like other this other world, right? But he's like, what if it's actually different? What if it's like interdimensional? What if it's like mental? What if there's like a literal war between good and evil? I think we talked about this on the podcast, like the war of good and evil is like in our minds is like mm-hmm. the devil and stuff. But like really think about that though. People are walking around with these mental demons all the time that they have to shed. Mm-hmm. And the war is like the physical manifestation. Holy crap, I just figured it out. Oh crap. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So th- a lot of people in the UFO space are like, we live in a three div- three dimensional sphere, right? Mm-hmm. Like tangible reality. But a lot of them say that it's a projection of something else. It's like, what if our life is just a projection? Like, something's here like a shadow cast like you you have a ball and then like you have light and then there's a shadow on the table Mm -hmm. okay so then if you live as the shadow you're like oh it's a two-dimensional reality but it's like no no but there's a ball casting a light onto the shadow but we're stuck in this two-dimensional reality you think this is what all reality is you see what i'm saying it's like an analogy so like we're we're living in a 3d space but there's a there's a fourth dimensional reality that's like a projection this 3D space is a projection of a, another dimension. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then take that and now take Tom DeLong's mention of like, there's a war between good and evil. And a lot of people that have really delved into the UFO space, they've converted to Christianity. And I'm like, bro, I'm not converted. <laughs> right. But I'm like, is, is it an analogy between good and evil? Is there a war, a mental war? Literally in this fourth dimension called mind going on. And then the 3d space is the physical manifestation of that war, which means like, why are we polluting this planet? Greed. What is greed? It's tied back to a mental demon of freaking trying to get everything. And mm-hmm. then there are people with like angels in their mind who are trying to like create positivity, like us on this podcast, like, Hey man, just educate yourself. Like do good, bro. Sure. You know? And, yeah, and then yeah. like that manifests as a physical, reality which becomes the podcast that people listen to you know like young yodas and like posts like Mm -hmm. they're like physical manifestations of this fourth dimensional plane we are literally in a three-dimensional plane that is no no we are literally a a projection of a fourth dimensional interplay that's manifesting on a three-dimensional plane Mm -hmm. wait that actually makes sense though right yeah if you're saying yeah that's a good way to explain it yeah Good versus evil. Because I've heard all these, right? It makes sense. Because I've heard all these theories before. I'm like, it's making no sense. Like, what do you mean there's a freaking good and evil? What do you mean that there's like a, we're just a projection of a, of like another space? Mm -hmm. Like, what does that mean? Is it like, you know? But it's like, no, I was taking that too literally, which was their analogy of like, here's the light, here's the ball, and then the casting of the shadow. And then the people that are in the 2D space, they think that that's real, but it's like, no, it's actually a projection of the ball and the light. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that yeah. was a literal they like they were saying it i was like oh this is literal it's like no it's not literal bro it's allegorical well are they yeah sure yeah that's that's your understanding to break it down as facts but i'm like tell me i'm wrong you know what i mean like because now i'm like excited about it. I'm like wait because there's some pull in me i'm like there's something correct here about good and evil and i'm seeing it and mm-hmm. like de- i've heard of demons before but like i'm like no dude it's not like a freaking real demon like there's sure. no pitchfork, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Maybe those movies, oh my God, this is crazy. Whoa, it is Christianity. That is it. Wow. All right, check this out. Check this out. What is my biggest fear? Like, uh, aside from needles and heights, like as a kid, you're like oh, plagued with like yeah. hell, right? Like demonic movies. Like I can't watch those like movies, like exorcism, mm. right? And you're like, as a kid, like I hated going to church and stuff. And like you watch exorcism, you're like, oh my God, that's so freaky. Okay. So what if you take the movie like an allegory? 
Mm -hmm. The demon cannot manifest on this physical plane. So it puts itself into the mind of another person. Not literally, like, it's just like a concept. It's like, like, I really want to have your money. I really want to have your wife. I really want to have your business. I really, you know, greed. Yeah. Right? The seven deadly sins. Yeah. yeah and then, say. The, yeah. right? And they manifest into actions. That's why when you watch like exorcism, they're like speaking in tongues, cutting themselves. Like, but it's not, it's like, it's allegorical, bro. You're not <laughs> literally, maybe you do. I don't know. Friggin', maybe you do fly, you know, and like, bro, no, no, your head turns around. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But like, but if you look at allegorically, it's like, no, that, that mind demon that went into the girl is now um, feeding like her physical reality and mm -hmm. is manifesting as these, these things. What do you think about that? Yeah. It, it makes sense. But the reason why I says Christianity is because that's the only religion that's talking about that. Like Constantine, uh, devil, angel. Um, I mean, like, okay. I'm sure that the Anunnaki is real. Like, like Tom DeLonge put it like this, and I was like, that's so true. He's like, if you were in the ocean and you're a fish, right, and you see a plastic bag, you're like, oh, that's interesting. Basically, the plastic bag is the UFO, right? And you're like, that's kind of cool. But you don't realize that the plastic bag is actually trash. And what is trash? Trash is like food that was a container, and then somebody threw it aboard, and then there's a city. Like, he's saying that our life our reality even though we think we're alone in the universe is way more complex than we think so it's like yeah maybe there are anunnaki then maybe they did come here and we based religion off of them or maybe the mental demons are affecting the anunnaki who came here you know what i'm saying but like i think there is a fourth dimensional plane we talked about all the time which is like a mind demon bro mm -hmm. right and and like what we do from those mind demons literally has physical ramif ramifications on our world. I was listening to um, Paul Rosalie or something on Joe Rogan's podcast, and he was talking about how they're cutting down the rainforest. But mm -hmm. that's just for, like, money, bro. But it's like, why would you cut down the rainforest for money? So you're literally, like, killing the earth for a mental thing, mm -hmm. which is, like, uh, the concept of money. And, like, but those things aren't real. You're going to die. It's going to be gone. But something's plagued you to be, like, I need to get all this money, bro. Right. And then it's like affecting the earth. Mm -hmm. So there's a physical ramification of a mental construct. Yeah. And this goes back to the whole idea of like, if you just told yourself a whole different story, like if you're listening to this right now, you're like, oh, that's a cool way to think about it. That's a whole new story that I'm going to adopt, you know? And then you start changing your life in the positive direction. Mm-hmm then we could technically call you like an angel of God or like a, you know what I mean? Sure. You're yeah. like a, uh, an avatar, a freaking a Jesus working like, because you're just taking that love concept or like that, like peace, love, prosperity, and you're fighting demons, bro. You're like Michael, the archangel, mm -hmm. but in, you know, story of Michael, the archangel. I don't know the story. He's, he's the like right hand man of God. And then he casts the devil into hell. He's like the warrior. He like killed okay. the right. devil. But you know what I'm saying? Like, we could all become Michael the Archangel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we could become freaking demons, bro. Who, who, are, who are trapped. Basically, those members yeah, of yeah, that yeah, can't yeah. go back and you're like, like Puff Daddy, bro. Like, like, when I see that case, I'm like, do you guys some demons, bro? <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, but, all right, you know what's really funny? All right, Tara said this. I hope she doesn't get mad that I said this on the podcast. <laughs> but this, this made me a lot. I was like, dude, that's a hot take. Like, I've never... I've never heard of it like this. So, like, when you hear the Puff Daddy thing, you're like, dude, that's crazy, bro. He's, like, enslaving people, and, like, he was chaining them up. He was, like, molesting, like, nine-year-olds and, like, blah, 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 right? And you're like, dude, that's insane. And then she's like, as we're watching the documentary, she's like, it was kind of gross. I'm like, yeah, I know it's gross, right? And she's like, no, it's just, like, you're that horny? <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, that's it. That is literally it. She's like, you just, you just need to be having sex all the time, right? That's, that's it? Mm -hmm. and, and I was like, Oh my God, his lust demon, sure, yeah, overcame yeah, yeah. like seven deadly sins, bro. Like lust, yeah, yeah. greed, sloth, whatever. I don't know what they are, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, it just became a huge demon that like overcame him, and now he's like, no, I must use all my power because I'm so horny. When you put it like that, it's like that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't seem as 
crazy like it doesn't seem as like dude there's this cabal of like the the elites are working <laughs> against us you're just like no those people are just really horny bro yeah right yeah, yeah, yeah. we're like we're oppressed you know what i mean like mm -hmm. like uh the the dude i've been talking a lot just like if you want to <laughs> if you had all you're like uh i'm like going on this rant right now because i'm like sleep deprived and i'm like oh this is all making sense now you know but like you know the picture of like lebron james and like he's oh in, yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And you're like oh that might be ai let's assume it's real okay or like some craziness happened at these parties okay dude if we just made inclusivity a thing all right, all right, right before the podcast, I put these stickers on this microphone. And you and I both laughed at this this rainbow. Mm -hmm. All right. But I'm like, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Make fun of me. Whatever. Um, so, but if we just made inclusivity a thing, it'd be like, hey, LeBron, I get it. You want to dress up, bro. Go do your thing, bro. And then the demon, he'd be like, I, I could dress up like a, like a maid. Mm -hmm. You won't laugh at me. I'm like, nah, bro. Do your thing, bro. Just don't hurt anyone. Do your thing, bro. He'd be like, all right, cool. We dress up like a maid. And we're like, all right, cosplay is cool, bro. You know what I mean? And then he wouldn't feel bad. Like, you do your thing, just don't don't hurt anyone. But it's because we have like, oh my god, dude, everything's clicking. Maybe the Catholic Church was co-opted by a demon. No, no, but like a mental demon. Think about this. <laughs> the Catholic Church, like, no, you know what I mean, bro? Think about it though. You're like, you're like, the Pope is like, no, gays will go to hell. Mm -hmm. And they were like, hey, man, just love everyone. Do whatever you want, bro. And he's like, no. Give me all your money. Literally, though, because you, you have to give money at church, which I was always like, so funny. My mom would always pull out a 20. And like, as she's giving it, I would snake the 20. I'd be like, I'm more poor than these people. I was like 10. And I'm like, I'm more poor than people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, you know, people would be like, well, what are you doing? And she put another 20. I'm like, I'm keeping this 20, though. You know? <laughs> because I saw the game. I'm like, why are we giving this money? I, I want the money. I want to go buy like freaking chocolates, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you going to give it to them? Right. You know? But that's greed. That's the greed demon inter inter um, intercepting the Catholic Church. And then, like, you also have, like, the non-inclusivity aspect of, like, the Catholic Church. You know? And then those are the ones that went around were like, hey, man, don't be gay. And then LeBron James is like, oh, man, I can't become a basketball player if I'm gay. And you're like, but now, 2024, like, do whatever you want, LeBron, man. Like. That's on you. Like you have fun, but just don't hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. You know. And then, but then these demons overtook them. But if we had like a more peaceful world where it's like everyone's accepted, it's like you probably wouldn't have these demons. Because allegedly, I mean, like if you look at it, like Puff Daddy's either repressed like homosexuality or he's bi, or but he can't. He's living in that world of like I have to act with my bravado. Mm -hmm. But then like DMX and all these people are like, oh, you know. You can't do that. And then he's like, oh, I'm so repressed. I'm going to just do it in secret. And then I'm going to find people who are just like me who are also bi. And then we're just going to do these freak parties. And then like, haha, against you. But it's like, okay, cool. You guys are bi. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Do that over there. Like, I'm, I'm not. So whatever. Go have fun. You know? Right. What do you think, though? You think I'm just like totally out to lunch? Or you're like, oh, that makes sense. No, it, it could make sense. It's like, what is the, like, what is the reason why you would do any of this stuff? Mm -hmm. You're just not able to exercise it in public opinion, like you're saying. Like, yeah, yeah, people yeah. look at you weird. Yeah, but if we just didn't look at people weird, they're like, all right, man, do you? Sure. Whatever. That then you wouldn't feel repressed, mm -hmm. and then the repression wouldn't feed the demon. Mm -hmm. I can't can't do these things because all right, everyone's talking about like freaking. Um, but maybe the cure is Taoism, bro. So, like, we're talking about Christianity, good versus evil. It's like, yeah, to totally. Maybe all the religions work together as one. Who knows? But, like, good versus evil, right? But, like, Taoism is, like, good, bad. But we also have a good piece of bad and good in our good and bad. Mm -hmm. So, like, LeBron James, like, like, you're the best basketball player ever. All good. So, like, now you have to uphold the standard of, like, not having any bad, you know? But then if we just accept a little bit of bad in LeBron James, we're like, whatever. Yeah, then yeah, you, yeah, you'd you'd harmoniously live your life, bro. Yeah, yeah. But, that, but that's societal thing, right? So this is societal pressure that goes back to that. Uh, when you are a big basketball star, you don't want to have a bad image because then it affects right? everything. Yeah, endorsement deals. Yeah, it does. Yeah, 